Yo, welcome to feeding time. Big guy right back here today, guys. We are doing Teriyaki Boy here in uh, Las Vegas. I believe it is it called Teriyaki Boy. What the fuck is the name of the? I'm fucking jacked my neck. I did the neck machine yesterday. Fucking stiff. That's what she said. Uh, fuck. Terry, I think it's Teriyaki Boy Healthy Grill. I literally, this car is not built for a 290 pound man right now. Fuck. Anyways, guys, I'm doing Teriyaki Boy Mongolian Beef Bowl with white rice. Just did a massive leg workout. I actually switched up gyms, went to the LVAC. Um, Eastern uh, for the first time here and uh, not a bad little gym, not a bad little gym at all. It is a ways for me though. So I saw a Teriyaki Boy here and I go, you know what? I haven't done a feeding time. And, oh shit, that's just gushing everywhere. Premium soy sauce here, a little extra soy on that. Get right to the tips. Oh, Billy! I got my loser food tray here. But you want me to hold the food up? Got some onions, green peppers. And uh, this is uh, essentially turning in, this is feeding time, healthy healthy eats with uh, with steak or with Mongolian beef. And uh, cause it's Sunday, so that in conjunction with my morning meal is my meat consumption for the week. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, shit. It's juicy. I've really been dieting. We're getting in, getting in peak shape. As I'm doing the stem cells. I've held it together well. Really could let myself just become a fat piece of shit, but that wouldn't look good. In any area of my life, especially due to the supplements. You can't be a fat piece of shit. I mean, but like, oh I take this. Because no one's gonna think it works. There are some fat CEOs of other supplement companies that have done quite well. I need to be a chip. Mm. Mm. I haven't even got to the rice yet. That fan, that air's probably a little high. It's hot as balls out here right now. I'm in unknown territory. A Neanderthal has left his neck of the woods. Not, not in my element anymore. I saw Sean Davari here at LVAC. He lives in Vegas. We were talking for a bit. I hadn't seen him in forever. He's fucking jacked. A lot of hot pus walking around, too. I tell you, Vegas, you get a lot of trouble out here. A lot of trouble. I'm glad I'm not married. I would have lost everything already. Just straight up. I would have I would have been divorced seven times. I wouldn't have anything. I'd be sitting in a fucking Honda Civic trying to do YouTube videos just to pay for my fucking child support of my 10 kids seven different wives. She took me for everything. Instead, I'm happy. I know some people can't quite understand that. 
really fucking happy. Eventually, eventually, meet the right one. In the meantime, just keep plugging away, guys. Just like anything in life. Just keep plugging away. Stay positive. Look for the positives and everything. Be happy. Woman here. Getting in the car. It's three kids. Three fucking kids. She looks miserable. Not just, maybe she's not, but she looks miserable. One of the kids had three yogurts, so there's probably two more kids at home. Five fucking kids. I say to each their own, whatever makes you happy. I know a lot of you want my brain to live on in others, so my mindset. A bunch of little Rybackers running around. You, know, you never know. You never know. I love fucking dogs. Oh, shit. I love Frenchies, Boston Terriers. You know? I also believe in fulfilling our destiny before giving up on our destiny to raise others. And every situation is different, but that is my mentality. How could I possibly tell someone else to go for their dreams if I gave up on mine? And that's not everybody, but I've seen it. There's no right or wrong, there's only what you believe, and I know what I believe. And if you disagree with any of that, you can leave a long, lengthy thing in the comments and we'll just hide you from the channel. <laughs> and not read it. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about that the other day. Just shut off fucking comments. Take the gun out of people's hand. Good or bad. Just watch the content. When you have your thoughts stuck in your head, you can't let them out. Not a bad move. Not a bad move at all. I gotta say this. That teriyaki boy. I see why he's nicknamed the teriyaki boy now. He knows it's teriyaki. Hey, look, hon, it's that little teriyaki boy. Flinging those Mongolian beef balls on the corner of the street and just opened up his own place. Mm. Some kids sell lemonade on the corner. Not teriyaki boy. Fucking sells Mongolian beef balls. Started at a young age. That's what I want to believe. Eventually started doing chicken, chicken teriyaki, salmon teriyaki, living wild. I noticed at this gym though, there's a lot of more guys that do steroids and women too here. It always makes me chuckle because I'm still bigger than them. It's just a weird thing. But in pictures, they'll look enormous. Then you see them in person, and you're just like, oh, they'll weigh you by like 60 pounds, little fella. But well, there's some big guys in there still. can't wait to be able to train really heavy again. I love being strong. There's no better feeling than just being strong. It's gotten me out of so much of my life. It's really a great thing to have. Other men hate it too when you're just, you can, you can feel your strength. It's such a great fucking thing. And then when you have apply skill with strength, game over. Strength Skill with unlimited energy and endurance. Untouchable. Just having strength and endurance puts you above so much. You can be strong as fuck and have great endurance. Such a fucking, two fucking powerful things.
Oh, I'm hot. I'm really hot. Gotta make the steak last. I'm getting down to the itty bitty end of the steak. I didn't do my abs in there. I was supposed to do abs and core, and I didn't. I had to piss so bad. They only had one bathroom. They don't have a bathroom upstairs, which blows me away with how big and busy this gym is. The other LVACs do. But I think this one's a little older. saw a good thing with Denzel Washington. I don't know if it could have just been someone put his picture on it to make it more powerful. But it says, you know how you get rid of racism? You quit. And it had a sentence. And just for with uh, everything going on, I believe it was something along the lines of a... White cop uh, killed a black guy. Um, something along the lines of that was longer than that, though. But it had black and white crossed out. And it was really powerful. It made me think. How easy the media... And not to say with everything going on. Who's to say that that just wasn't just a piece of shit cop that killed another man? And I don't know what evidence there is yet or anything of that. But I do know the media is great at creating a story that could not have even been there. You know what I mean? I think it's really important to ask those questions. But the positive of a much more of a serious issue that is going on with the Black Lives Matter is it's bringing attention to something that needs attention. I just say, from a media standpoint, of how you can paint that picture when there may not have that may not have that may not have been the picture. It's an easy picture to buy into. 100% could be the case. But it also could 100% just be a piece of shit. Because there's plenty of pieces of shit on this planet. But that reminded me of that. We eliminate those terms of that. You know? But, and it's just I'm always big on looking at things from every angle. Or as many angles as possible. And I do know the... I talked about the media. We have to be very careful. And the most successful people I've seen, and most people that are, are the happiest, don't watch it. From everything I've gathered and read. And I don't watch it, but I'm pretty fucking happy. Outside of what I see in social media stuff. It's just, it's limited. Mm. This has been a real treat. There was somebody I noticed that did leave comments. It's, I think it's the same person. We've had to mute them a couple times. I think they made a different account. He's really angry that this old man, he, he likes calling me an old man. <laughs> and uh, 
is making children's videos. And I'm like, well, I'm eating food. When does eating food like ever, like, like it's a necessary thing like until the day we die? Everyone from kids to children, babies to children, to adults, to old men eat food. Really blew my mind, but he was angry. I mean, he, he was really angry. And I know he's watching this too. His name is fucking Jeffrey. Mm. Ah, done. Maybe I'll start wearing a little bib, recording my little children's videos. Maybe I'll start eating some, some baby food, do different reviews on baby food. Wah, wah. God. You gotta ask yourself, why is he watching the videos if it makes him so angry? And you have to also ask yourself, I would have just eaten the food in here. I happened to turn on a camera and have a conversation with my fucking friends. I don't understand how that can make you a loser or make you a child. It's literally, I, I, I don't, I don't understand that much. I, I don't, and I don't care. But anyways, guys, so that was the teriyaki boy, Mongolian beef bowl with white rice. I'm giving that five stars. I'm sure you could tell the, 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 the lady, the teriyaki boy's mom, I think made it. She was the one working and, uh, teriyaki mama. And, uh, she, she fucking, she, she hooked the big guy up five stars. It's 10 stars. I just give it 10 stars, five stars, two th thumbs up, brother. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, guys, that's been another edition of Feeding Time. Check out my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback in the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report. And uh, Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. New customers, first-time buyers, you want to check out my supplements, Sweet with Stevia and Monk Fruit. No artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners. Discount code SAVE25 at checkout to get 25% off your first order. We want you. I want you to be customers of Feed Me More Nutrition for Life. And uh, because I truly believe we have the best supplements on the planet. All right, guys, let's be good human beings. Be nice to each other. And as always, get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.